Well, St. Patrick's Day, it's pretty big on food and beverage. And one of my personal favorites is Irish soda bread. Love that sweet, chewy goodness. And it's pretty easy to make. So try this recipe from our friend Christy Rost from her Breckenridge kitchen. Hi, I'm Christy Rost. Aside from green beer and corned beef and cabbage, Irish soda bread is probably the dish most associated with St. Patrick's Day. This dense, slightly sweet loaf has been part of Ireland's food culture since the 1830s. Today I'm going to share this much loved St. Patrick's Day tradition. I have two cups of flour here and I'm going to add in one teaspoon of baking powder, three quarters teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of salt, and three tablespoons of granulated sugar. Just mix these together. And then I have five tablespoons of unsalted butter, and it's very, very cold, and I've sliced it into little tiny cubes. And I'm going to just add this in to the flour mixture. And then I take a pastry blender and I just cut this butter into the flour mixture until it creates coarse crumbs. And this will take about three or four minutes. Once I have coarse crumbs, then I take two thirds cup of raisins, stir this in, and add three quarters cup of buttermilk. If you're baking at high altitude like I am, then add one extra tablespoon of buttermilk because the air is so dry here. And stir this together just until it's well mixed. This will take a few moments to get all of the flour mixture incorporated. Then turn this mixture out onto a lightly floured surface. And I'm going to knead it just a very few times. And that's going to create a nice smooth loaf. I love this part. So just bring it all together and then just knead a very few times. There, and see the loaf is getting nice and smooth. So at this point, I just flatten it with my hand until it's about one and a half inches high. And if the edges are real coarse, just press them together like this. Keep turning your loaf, press it down. And then this goes into a nine inch greased cake pan round one like this. And just go. Then make the traditional cross across the top of the loaf. Go about a half inch deep. And then I take a little bit of melted butter and I'm just going to brush this across the top of the loaf. And then sprinkle the top with either granulated sugar or I like to use sparkling sugar. Beautiful. Now I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I'm going to bake this for 30 to 40 minutes. It will be golden brown on top. And once you put a pick in and it comes out clean, the loaf is ready. Served with butter and jam, Irish soda bread is a St. Patrick's Day tradition the entire family can enjoy. But don't just save it for the holiday. It's scrumptious for weekend breakfast or in the afternoon with a pot of tea. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Take care, stay safe, find the joy. 
Uh, I'm feeling more Irish by the minute. I tell you, you can find this recipe on our website, coloradoandco.com and christyrost.com. When you're on Christy's site, buy her celebrating home cookbook.